hi guys, welcome to Oz Travel Log. Uh, in this section, this is what we call van talk, where we discuss uh, a few of the things that we're uh, doing on this particular trip. So I'll let Robin take over from here. Hi there. This uh, trip was an extended Australia Day weekend uh, with family and friends. We went to Mingling Waters Caravan Park at Now An Hour in Gippsland. The, it's, it's close to Lakes Entrance, Bruthen and Buckingham Buck Caves. Caves. And it's a beautiful area to visit. And they've also got a thing called the um, Trestle Bridge, Stony Creek Trestle Bridge. Well, they've got some amazing um, stuff. And that is absolutely amazing. So without too much further ado, I think we'll uh, throw you to the video and we'll see how we go. Oh, hi guys. Um, just thought I'd show you this little place that we're staying at at the moment. It's called Minling Waters uh, Caravan Park. Absolutely brilliant place. It's one of those little gems that you are lucky to stumble across. Um, we'll just go and have a little look and see what it looks like. Not a soul about at the moment, except for maybe one or two cars. There's a track I found yesterday that was absolutely breathtaking. So we might just take a wander down there this morning. Okay, this is an hour and hour wetlands walk. Absolutely magnificent, this place. Yes, I suppose you've guessed that I'm on the electric bike. Got the GoPro all set up. Everything's going good. Such a beautiful track. Just seems to meander through the forest. And then we kind of get to the end of it, where it gets a little bit boggy. Let's see if we can get through some of this. Oh. And actually, we come across this fantastic little bridge. Oh, we might as well go over it, I reckon. Wow. Just so peaceful. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Not too many people around, but just enough. It's a bit steep going down. But we'll get there. I think it's about nine, uh, nine kilometre run all the way around. Maybe we won't tackle this today. Might have a go at that tomorrow. Okay, we're going back to camp. We're going back the uh, the long way, I think. Back over the bridge. Mm 
don't know whether you can see it, but there's a couple of people out there canoeing and fishing. Just having a great time. That's a perfect morning. Yeah, this is the now and now wetlands walk, launching way, or launching road. Oh, looks like the general store's open. Looks like the grey nomads are out for their coffee and scones first thing in the morning. So we're just heading back to our campsite. I think there's a lot more activities happening at the moment. And we're back again. Job done. Hi guys, about 40 degrees at the moment. But uh, one of my sons came up with a brilliant idea using a sprinkler system. Come and I'll show you. Absolutely brilliant on a hot day. It's a sprinkler system uh, with mist heads on it. Keeps everybody really, really cool. Great idea. On a really hot day, this is amazing. Well, hi guys. I thought I'd take you to have a look at this uh, bridge. This is a Stony Creek trestle bridge. Here it is. Okay, so this says the Stony Creek trestle bridge. The Stony Creek trestle bridge was built in 1916 when the existing rail line from Melbourne to Bairnsdale was extended to Albost. This 97 kilometer extension through rugged terrain was reputed to have been the most difficult rail project undertaken in Victoria. The bridge remained in service for over 60 years until a bushfire damaged it in 1980. The last train crossed the bridge in 1988. 
At 247 metres long and 20 metres high, the bridge is the largest standing bridge of its kind in the state. Built of red ironbark and grey box timber, it is a fine example of the early engineering skills that may do with the resources and materials found on site. Oh, hi guys. Um, thought I'd just take you to the park where we went the other day. We had about seven people going for a ride and we ended up here. The Nowa Nowa Mountain Bike Park. Um, now we took uh, track number one, which is this one here, and we followed it all the way up to the top of the mountain. And then we came back down through Gorge Road here. Now where that track is, is just over here. And this is the uphill track number one. And all seven of us ended up following that trail all the way to the top. It took us, I'd say probably about maybe 20 minutes or could be a bit more, half an hour. It was a good solid bike ride and uh, I think we all did well. Good place to come. Okay guys, we're just going to pop into Lake's entrance and have a bit of a, a look around. Maybe we can get some of those great prawns I've been hearing so much about. Anyway, we're off we go. Hi guys. Yeah, we're crazy, I know. It's raining, it's wet, but we want our prawns. So we're just going up to grab some prawns. God, yesterday was 40 degrees, and today it's as crappy as this with so much rain. Anyway, this is where we got our prawns, guys. And they're just wrapping up for the day. Alright, I think it's back to the car. Boy, that was freezing. And where's our hall, Robin? In here. Hey, kilo of prawns. <laughs> Way to go. Fresh, <laughs> freshly cooked. Anyway, we'll catch you later when we're a bit drier. Well, this is Australia Day. Everybody's pretty much gone home. We're staying on another day. So uh, just take you around and show you what this place is actually like, empty. Oh well, I suppose I better head up for a bit of serenity. Catch you later. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, we did make quite a few mistakes. <laughs> yes, we did. Um, one of the mistakes is that if you're filming something, it's a great idea to always bring your camera <laughs> along. Um, one of our sons, um, uh, went to um well actually they all went i think to collect some firewood yeah they collected some firewood and we got a down phone, on the track yeah. yeah we got a phone call saying help we're bogged 
Um, so we had to go and rescue them and that would have made some phenomenal footage and it would have been... Oh. Interesting. Would have been good, but, yeah. you know, you jump in the vehicle to go help them and don't think of the camera. Yeah, so that was one of the other things. That was one of the uh, things that we forgot to do. The other one was we went on the night bike ride, which I mentioned, uh, which we had about seven bikes with us, and that would have been terrific footage as well. But guess who left the GoPro at home? I'm sorry, guys. Now, the other thing I was going to mention, which is pretty important. Hang on a second while I grab this. Uh, okay, some of you guys might want to do a bit of filming. Um, now, there's these... Um, kits available on the internet um, and look they're pretty good for most part but look it's got about a hundred and or 247 bits of GoPro stuff you've got your arm you've got your floaties um, you've got all the bits and pieces under the Sun fantastic don't use this don't use this it's um, it's a GoPro for the bike mount, but as you can see, it's very, very wobbly, and some of the footage I wasn't really happy yeah. with. But look, it's all a learning curve, and it's one of the things that, um, well, you do live and learn. I have actually ordered another one of these, but uh, better quality, and so hopefully the next lot of footage will be a hell of a lot better, less shake. But that was just one of the things I thought I'd point out to you guys, so... Um, always buy quality gear. Don't try and buy the cheapest because sometimes it just does not pay. And you don't have to buy the most expensive, as in GoPro um, labelled goods either. Just yeah. somewhere in the middle. Yeah, just buy something in the middle and usually that'll be pretty good. Just check it out first. But uh, as I said, that was a pretty crappy bit of kit there. So uh, <laughs> we'll throw that away. Um, so apart from that, look, thank you very much for watching. Um, look, to help this channel along, if you please press the subscribe button, subscribe button down below, um, that'll help us. If you've come across anything that you'd like us to do, please let us know. Um, if you enjoy our videos, let us know. If you don't, fine, we're making these for the kids, whatever. <laughs> but look, thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoy the next one, which will be the Castle Main. Castle Main trip. So stay tuned for that one. That could be good. We will remember to take the GoPro with us pretty much all the time. I will have that GoPro strapped to me, I promise. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi guys. <laughs>